Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kathleen and I create beauty content and lifestyle for mature women. Today we're going over a beginner's friendly makeup routine. I'm gonna walk you through the key brushes to get, what products to start off with, and how to use them. I'm actually not gonna be doing it on my skin, but I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do, just so that if you're looking to get started with makeup, you have no idea where to start, then this video is for you. Okay, number one is the blending brush, right? And this one here is probably like a standard size makeup brush. This is what you're going to use to start off um, use it, putting eyeshadow across your entire eye. And what you want to do is you want to dip it into the eyeshadow that you want to use and then you simply just want to kind of go back and forth making circular motions just so that it's blended. The next brush after that I recommend is a pencil brush. And a pencil brush looks like so. So this pencil brush, right, is a brush that you would use if you're looking to just kind of darken up a corner a little bit or just add a little tiny bit of eyeshadow underneath your eye or just to kind of run it across your lash line. But it does very much like detailed work. But I find that it's very important, especially if you're going to be using any type of liner around your eyes. This will just soften it up so it doesn't look so hard. And the goal with mature makeup is to have it be as soft and natural as possible. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link some of my favorite affordable makeup brushes down below for you. So next is this is my one of my favorite brushes this is the F1 this is by from made by makeup for Mario and the reason that I love this is that on this end there is a, it's a concealer brush right it's a little bit smaller so you can use it underneath your eye you can use it to add concealer to your lid um, you can use it to do touch-ups on your face if you have any discolorations that you want to use with the concealer and then on the other end, this brush here is where you can um, put your foundation on with. You can dab your foundation on with it. Then you can also, if you use a cream, um, if you use a cream blush, or even if you use a powder brush, you can also use it to blend that into your skin because you're not gonna be pulling makeup down on your skin, you're gonna be dabbing it into your skin. Next is this brush here, this is an angle brush. And this is where, again, this is gonna do a little bit more detailed, but it's gonna be very subtle. This is where you're gonna dip into a darker color on your, in your palette, your makeup, your eyeshadow palette, and you're gonna line the lash line. Of, and then last but not least is this other one, which is a little bit denser, and this is where you can put like a darker shadow onto your lid going across here, or if you choose to use like a, a a glitter or a shimmer shadow, this is where you would use this, and just kind of pack it on here. So these five brushes are a really good place to get started with makeup. Next I would do, and this one probably is really, really important if you do nothing else, and that would be an eyebrow pencil, especially if you have very sparse brows, or if you have a lot of gray in your brows. Definitely want to start with an eyebrow pencil, and you would want to do that first, right? You would put your eyebrows on, you would see, again, you would see a change in your face uh, quickly with just doing that because it's gonna frame your face and it's gonna make your eyes pop. Next, I would get is a good concealer, right? Now, this can you, you can use this for two things, right? The concealer, you can use it to use it as an eye base on your eyelids to even out any discoloration that you might have on your eyelids. You would go in, you would take the concealer brush, right? And you would dip it into the concealer and just kind of dab that all over your lid. Bear in mind that you only need a tiny bit. You do not use, need to use a lot of product uh, at all. So you would just go in and dab that all over first before you put your eyeshadow on. And then you would go under and you would conceal up any dark, dark uh, under eyes if you had dark under eyes. Or if you had any discoloration, like I have broken capillaries here, I have some hyperpigmentation that I would want to cover up, and I would cover that up with with this with the concealer and then with the concealer brush on the other end here. Next is you would need a foundation, a really good foundation, one that matches your skin color. The best way, um, this one here is a, a affordable option from Elf. It is a soft glam satin foundation, right? And it has buildable coverage. So you can leave it as very sheer or you, know, you can build it up to like a more medium coverage. And the best way to test to see if a foundation is right for you is to 
Test it here on your jawline to make sure that it blends in with your jawline and works on your neck. You never want to test it up on your forehead where you might have more uh, exposure to the sun where it would be darker. Next you would need is a dual purpose palette, right? And this palette would be, it's an instant look in a palette. And what you would have in a palette like this is you would have your three eyeshadows going across the top, right? You would have a bronzer here, and then you would have a two blushes here. And then you would need a, you would have a highlighter here, which you could use the highlighter to highlight your cheekbones if you wanted, or you could also use it across your lid as a, a shimmer. But this is where I would start because it has everything in one place and you wouldn't be confused as to what you would need, you know, how many different eyeshadows would be matching in or just a palette that has just eyeshadows or a palette that would just have blushes and bronzers in it. Get one that has, that does everything instantly in one palette. Again, I'm gonna be linking all these products down below in case your product would be, and now this is if you have really oily skin and your skin gets really shiny, is you would need a, uh, a powder right? And you would need a powder puff, right? To go ahead and put the powder on your face at the, at the very end of doing everything just to kind of, you know, especially if you have some large pores in here and your face still gets oily. Okay. Next I would get, now that you just spent that time doing your makeup, I would get a setting spray, right? And that's just going to kind of set everything in place. It's going to marry all those, those products that you put on your face and just kind of blend this, blend them in seamlessly to your skin. So it doesn't look like you have a layer of makeup laying on your skin. After that, if you spray your face next, you would go in and you would need a mascara, right? And you would just go in use your mascara as you normally would. And you know, but if you do it after you spray your face, you have less chance of ending up with mascara dots on your eyelids. And then when you're done with that, you would need is a lip pencil to line your lips. I recommend getting a lip pencil that's closest to your lip color of your, that way you're just enhancing your lip color. You're not really changing it. And I love this one here by NYX. You can see how much I love it. Look how small it is. I have a bigger one in my kit that I, uh, that I use when I go on, on when I'm on jobs. Um, so, but this is a great one because it matches my lip color perfectly and I can fill in my entire lip if I choose to with this, or I can just kind of outline, you know, the outer edges of my lip just so it looks like it's more pop. And then I would just go over it with either a lip gloss, a lip oil, something to just kind of add hydration to my skin. And then that, and that's it really. That's pretty simple. Like you don't have to get over complicated. I know that you know, you can watch some makeup videos and it seems like there's a lot going on and you're like, oh my God, that's way too much. I'm never going to remember what to do, when to do it. If you gain any value from this video, please consider subscribing, giving this video a thumbs up, and I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye everyone.